Hello, hello, lovers. Welcome back for another video. Some subscriber asked me how do I clean my brushes, so I decided to do a simple introduction how I would clean my brush and how I would care my brush. Instead of using turpentine or turpentine to clean the brushes, I use something called linseed oil soap. Maybe other people use other material to clean, but um, um, I have been using this soap for a, uh, quite many years actually. Uh, it has been serving me really well. So I would like to introduce the way that how I would clean my brush and how the brush can be taken care of at the end of the painting section. Here is the brand that I use. It is quite... Um, useful as you can see i have been almost using half of it for almost about three years i still have a lot left so. when i'm cleaning my brushes i have a few stages that uh, usually i would do and i would use the linseed oil soap in this uh, small container right here uh, you can use any container that you can find i'm just using this uh, container right here because uh, uh, around the uh, bottom at the bottom area I can also use that to kind of a uh, scrubbing into my uh, brushes hair before putting my brush into the soap I would like to clean my brush a little bit more before this process so as you can see in my uh, brush I have been painting some of the paints uh, not too thick at this time, but as you can see, some pigments is uh, loaded on the brush. So what I can do at this point, which is you can use a rag or a paper towel. I use a paper towel. So just squeeze it like this and pull the brush out. Squeeze and squeeze as much as I can. See, as you can see, the brush being Pull and the paint being uh, pushed out. So until I feel the paint is not as much as before, it's kind of dry. As you can see, it it's kind of wet and also oily. Uh, earlier now, it's a little bit drier. So at this point, as you can see, the brush is quite dry. So now it's time for me to put the brush into the soup, just like this. I use the uh, bottom part to scrub out the extra paint, just like that. You can use the same soup, uh, clean a few extra brushes, not just one. Even though the soap is mixed with some paint but still you can use the same the same soap to clean a few extra brushes so not just use all this soap just cleaning one brush so as you can see the brush is less dirty than before the uh, the paint is, is less and less coming out now at this point i would like to show you Squeezing, squeezing the uh, some of the paint out. As you can see, it's less less dirty. The uh, the paint. I'm just squeezing it out. As you can see, it has less paint now. The next stage, I will use some hand soap. Some people even use um, shampoo to clean the brush. So I got some hand soap right here. I would use my hand and just cleaning up my brush like that. This will clean out the uh, remaining linseed oil soap and also with the extra oil my storage inside the uh, uh, the hair. So just do a few times just like that. The next thing I would need to do, which is 
change water. I have another boat right here. This is clean water. Just for the stage two, rinse, uh, rinse through the brush. Mm. At this uh, stage, I just try to clean out the soap. Make sure the, uh, the brush is clean. After this stage, I will have another bowl come in with a, also with a clean water. This is the final stage for cleaning. Do it again, finalize it, and then I'll try to test it out to see if there's anything left. As you can see, just water. Try to squeeze out the water as much as I can. At this point, the brush is clean. Just like that. Beside cleaning the brush, I bet many of you have this kind of experience. If you leave your brush outside, let the air dry the next day or after the brush dry, maybe the hair will be opened up like fan brush. Uh, in that case, your, uh, your brush will also have a hard time to maintain a good form. When I was a student, uh, my teacher taught us uh, after cleaning your brush, it's good to have a little bit of water to kind of wet your brush. And then you get yourself a piece of uh, paper towel, maybe this a little bit too big. I'm going to tear it open just like this and put it inside, just wrap it, roll it, and roll it, and roll it, and fold it, squeeze it, tuck it in, just squeeze it like that. So this will maintain the, uh, the brush in a good form, when you take out the brush, the brush hair will remain in a good, uh, in a good shape. Instead of uh, like in a crazy hair day, the hair is uh, open up and uh, some of the hair that uh, is distracting the way that you paint. So this, this way, uh, when the paper is dry, the brush is also dry. It will also remain a good form. As you can see here. I have an older brush. As you can see, the brush is no longer as clean, but the shape of the hair still remain nicely uh, grouping all together just by using the same method I was sharing uh, with you. I hope this video is helpful for some of you if you have uh, issues with carrying and also cleaning your brush. So um, this way can actually help you prolong the life of your brush. I know some people might not like to clean the brush after every time they're painting, but it is good to treat your brushes well so they can serve you longer. Uh, some people it might even put the brushes into water and come come out and paint again. Uh, so, <laughs> so many different techniques and uh, this is the way that I would clean my brush. And it's simple, and also it's not uh, as toxic, actually. Um, the material I use, I try to be a little bit more natural and uh, neutral. So uh, the ventilation in the uh, studio is also important. But at the same time, the material that you use is also crucial for your health. Um, in this case, I have shown you the way that I usually clean and care for my brushes. So hopefully this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please click like, subscribe, and share with your friends. See you next time.